Hello everybody, my name is Gatham, welcome back to another video of Last Judgment. Shit is going down right now, as you can uh, probably see. It's going off the right. You should watch the last video if you missed it, boys. We fought a big dude named Fudo. This man literally pulled out a bunch of stuff, crazy moves on us. It was fantastic, but now it looks like uh, it's time to run. They've got guns. Ain't nobody have time for this. What the? <laughs> you bitches couldn't catch me if you tried. Bye. Yo, this man is a maniac. The fuck? Go get his ass. This man is literally just like talk. What the hell, boys? Is Kaido the only one not able to do stuff like that? Honestly. All right. Well, I guess. We know where we gotta need meet him. We did tell us, uh, our son June did tell us where to uh, meet him at. We're definitely getting followed. I mean, this guy's not obvious at all. So we gotta lay uh, lead him somewhere, or lose the tail somehow, boys. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. I should, uh, yeah, I can't stroll up to Jun with this guy on my ass, so... What should I do? Well, I don't know exactly. Uh, I mean, I could just leave there. He's just gonna keep following me, though, so I'm just gonna keep going upstairs. Keep going upstairs really quick, and uh, maybe that's gonna lead, lead us to the right place. Maybe that's gonna lead us to the right place? Is there a way for me? Alright, so I try walking past him. He'll just start following me again, but I think I've got the disguise that can help that. What disguise? What are you talking about? Oh. Wait a minute. I do have disguises, items. Are you gonna let me choose? Oh, nice. He's gonna let me choose. I mean, that's a stupid ass costume. A sleek suit, though, but he's gonna remember me. Let's just do the sleek suit, boys. Why not? I mean, I like sleek suit, so why not, boys? Let's do some binding as well. And that's about it. We don't have anything else. And I guess... Yeah, I guess that's it. There we go. So he's basically not gonna recognize me. I'm in the suit now. So not, now it's definitely not the same person. What the hell? That Like, that makes sense, boys. But we'll roll with it. I mean, I'm rocking that suit. I definitely want to keep rocking it. Beautiful suit right there. Alright. Let's just keep going, I guess. That was kind of funny though. I was literally the same face. I didn't even need to change my face or anything. All I needed to do was literally just change the suit itself. Alright then. That's fine by me. Alright, so just gotta keep moving right here towards there. We're probably gonna have to fight these guys. Let me uh, go get past them. I don't, think, I, I don't think I need to fight them per se. I think I just need to get past them really quick, so... Let's just do that. Oh, they keep running at me, though. They keep they keep going. Look at that on the mini map. You see them? They keep running. And they can run for hours or something. Maybe it's the suit slowing me down. I'm not sure, boys. But let's keep going right here. We're almost there. Oh, he's okay. He's at uh, video game club and stuff. Okay, got you. All right, then let's go. Uh, let's go in. Wait, this is the tennis place, right? The baseball uh, place or something. This is where Tak and... Yeah, this is exactly where Tak and... And this famous All student. Right. Uh, my favorite character of the game. Uh, the, the student, I, I forgot her name though. But it's exactly where they both of them played before. What's up, Kaito? How'd you like my little escape plan? Pretty slick, right? Yeah, I guess it was alright. You nearly got yourself killed. What if that guy shot you, huh? Yeah, well, thanks to me, no one got...
shot. I totally pulled my weight back there. Don't you realize those were ex Yakuza? They wouldn't hesitate to dump you in the ocean if they wanted. So what? Was I if they had the ch they had the what chance to shoot him, they could have done it a miles away years well, ago. So they haven't right. done it. So okay. something tells me that they're See, missing on something, or they're just, they're just playing dumb. I guess they're just playing dumb. I guess could also, make sense as well. They need me alive for a ransom, right? I wasn't in danger at all. You know what, kid? Where's your house? Huh? Why? So I can walk you home and leave your ass there. No matter what I tell you, you keep getting yourself deeper into dangerous shit. And I'm not gonna be held liable. Come on, don't be like that. What about my mom? What about your mom? Myself. And when I do, I'll give you a ring. How about that? Dude, chill. Why are you flipping out on me? I was just trying to help out, okay? God, I'm glad I don't have kids. Okay, where the hell did I put your dad's car? Ah, here we go. Yo! The hell was that all about? Hey, 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 stop! What's gotten into you? I'm not going home, damn it. What is wrong with you, man? Kid. Honestly. I get it. You're committed, really. But what would your old man think if you died out here? My old man? My old man wouldn't give a flying shit. If I was dead, it'd only make his life easier. His job's all that matters to him. <laughs> that can't be right. That's not just teen angst talking. No, man. I swear I'm not making this up. He genuinely does not care about me. Like, I was gone for a whole week not too long ago. When I got back home, he didn't even notice I'd left. Damn, that's rough. Well, you ever think it's his position that keeps him occupied? He's in charge of an entire company, right? It's not just that, man. I've lived with him long enough to know what he really thinks. Ever since I was little, I could tell the way he looked at me was off. It's like, yeah, he put up with me when mom was around, but now, he doesn't even pretend to be a dad. Bet he's glad I'm out of his hair as we speak. There's no way he'd think that about his own son. That's the thing, isn't it? I'm not even his son to begin with. Mom's diary told me that much. Sure explains why my dad hates my guts. We don't It's just a diary. I don't know why you well, I'd place my bets why on. you come like you stick to, to that conclusion. Sure. It's just a diary. That way, all these years would finally start making sense. I've already also, told you before, man. No DNA. You gotta do a DNA test for that shit. Di our diaries diary. it's just handwriting. It she can she could have write you. written any anything. What for? Mom describes you like some kind of real life superhero. A superhero, she said right? She had a knack for knowing whenever she was in over her head that you'd swoop in and take out anyone giving her shit. Her diary was full of cool stories about you. I'd spend hours poring over it. But maybe don't mention that to her. She really talked me up that good, huh? Yeah, she did. That's kind of why I ended up hoping you were my dad just needed it to be true uh, hang on a minute don't tell me I'm why you're all hung up on the Yakuza well yeah who wouldn't be after reading all that about you listen I get where you're coming from but give up on the Yakuza thing yeah that's not, not the right thing to do out. it doesn't matter plus, plus Kaido is not even the Yakuza anymore saying that as my Yakuza senpai or are you trying to give me a dad lecture call it what you want I'm still not changing my tune a bad idea is a bad idea you say that but how else am I gonna get strong strong enough to protect the people I care about you don't need to you be the Yakuza to do you. that my guy then focus on what's in here huh what do you mean just keep that fire burning in your heart. And it'll 
all make sense one day. Well, then I'm gonna tag along with you until that day comes. Sound good? That sounds like a long ass all time, right. my guy. I don't know. Just do me a favor. No more stunts that could land you in the morgue, okay? Deal! So, where were we before all of this? Good question. Let's figure that out at the office. The cleaning lady might have gotten in touch. Right. I Damn right. That. Yeah, I almost forgot about her as well. The goddamn cleaning lady. She's got info for us. Uh, a guy that uh, talked to her um, way, huh? a long time ago, like two years ago. She's got her info. Maybe we can contact that guy. So let us find out, boys. No. I gotta tell you something. That shit was ridiculous, the whole scenario, they all escape and everything. Here's the thing though, the guy, like, are supposed to kids. Like, I, I, I don't mind the fact that these are kids, it's just the fact that... I really doubt it's the case, to be honest. This is all too... Cons it all seems like a, a coincidence to me, that it just pops up like that at any point. At the same time of the mother's disappearance and all of that, you know, it's kind of weird. It's mu it's not a coincidence, boys, and it's just it's so much so much stuff going on at the same time. It's very weird. Way too convenient for my own uh, my own liking is what I'm trying to say, boys. Uh, let's go upstairs. Go up to our actual place of work. What is it? Is there somebody in here? Someone feels something feels off. What do you mean? Someone's been here? What have we here? The mailbox? No job request in there either, but that's no surprise. What's going on then? What the doors open or something? What's going on? Okay, maybe the smell, okay? Cigarettes. Now normally that wouldn't put me off, but Tack never told me he was back in the office. That could only mean... That means there's somebody else in here. Yeah, because Tack is not back yet. Or he's not supposed to be. Huh? What's up? Well, darn. It seems I lost my key. No. Really? Really? How about you come help me look for it? Maybe we should go to the police, see if anyone turned your key in. I never lost the key, Joe. Yeah, I never lost the key. I was huh? just playing you the entire time. Cigarettes coming from the office. And not the brand we smoke. Oh, that's weird. All the brands smell the same to me. H hang on. You better not be smoking. Uh, well, Look, is that really important right now? Besides, oh, for God's sake. This man is just a rebel for the sake of being a rebel. He's an angsty, an angsty t uh, teenager, boys. Like I said, Nothing we can do about that. I'm saying someone might be in our office. And I'm pretty damn sure I locked the door. Oh, you don't mean... You think it's those bogus detectives? I do. And I'm gonna use the drone to find out. Like, honestly, the, okay, so we got to use the drone, but honestly, why would they come to my office? Now, really, now, what if Tack came back? He would be like, what the fuck is going on? Why are the people, random people in my office right now? He would wonder. What are these guys doing here? Obvi really, feet. now? He was right there when he said he dropped the key. Nah, he'll be back soon. Knowing him, he'll probably just give up and kick the door in. Hey, go unlock the door for the big galoot. Okay. So bad. Close call. What now? We That's do so bad, man. These guys are really bad at their job. Holy shit. Hello, officer. I got a problem here. Some armed robbers just broke into my office. The fact that they don't they don't even see the drone right in the window what they're not looking in the windows only Police. two cops what are you doing oh, are those firearms oh shit panicky wait they're just leaving what the fuck is the cops doing
Adiki, let's get out of here. Dumbasses. Hey, jackass. You're supposed to tuck and roll. Oh, and you owe me for the window. Hey, freeze! Solves that problem. Bet they'll think twice about pulling that again. The fuck was that, boys? Everybody's useless in this city, I swear. The cops down to the... All the way down to the, the fucking thugs. The street level thugs, boys. Everybody's useless. They can't do their job properly. What the hell is going on here? I found that note I mentioned today. Okay. He's a doctor living in Chiba. His name is Yasutaka uh, Chirakaba. Okay. What's that got to do with the girl though? His phone number is this, this, this. Okay, I guess they're not showing us the phone number. I remember now, I remembered now he was looking for the woman in the picture you showed me. She said she might have some connection to the camera uh, theater. All right, thanks for that. Two, we've got a lead. It's from the cleaning lady. What she got for us? So, some good we stuff. We can uh, call the, do the doctor, I guess, that was contacting her. He gave our cleaning lady friend his number, too. Looks like a landline. So if I do a little search... Bingo. Got ourselves a homepage. Runs a clinic in Chiba. That's way out in the sticks. So is that our next lead on mom then? Could it should. Be. It looks like it is. Nice. Then let's get going. Who is this guy? This is the same guy following us again. Right. Look at that. So, about the detective and that kid looking for Mikiko Sadamoto. What next? Hail him. Don't let him catch wise. On it. This, who is this mysterious guy that's following us around? It's very interesting, boys. All right, let's just uh, let me. Can I confirm? No, I guess not. We're just gonna save that like that, I guess. Then let's just make another save, boys, and continue forward. We're gonna get into a next chapter right here. I think it's the third Kaito chapter. All right, so let's enter the chapter. I went ahead and skipped the uh, prologue. They'll need to watch it. So chapter three, out for blood. I don't know how many uh, chapters there is exactly to the game, but uh, one thing is for sure: it's obviously they're not going to. There's not going to be 30 chapters like the first, uh, like the main game and all. But uh, I wonder how many chapters there is. Wow, I even moved the alarm and everything. Turning it off in your sleep is a talent. Me. <laughs> If you're hungry, I suggest you get out of bed and help set the table. Breakfast is almost ready. Go back to sleep. Get up. Well, you know what? Just go back to sleep. Fuck this shit. Ain't nobody preparing anything. You gotta learn to man up. I don't know what's going on here, boys, but we're sleeping. Oh shit! Where's the boss? Is he okay? Uh, uh. Okay, good one, dude. Good morning, sleepyhead. She really got me on that one. So we're back in the past, I guess. Huh? What am I doing back here? Wasn't I just out looking for? <sighs> Still in dreamland, I take it. You do always sleep like a rock. Now come on, breakfast is almost on the table. At least give me a hand with the plates. Uh, sure. Whatever. She's gonna force me to help her out. What is this? Sandwiches right. and stuff? You didn't even do the sandwiches. You just made... Split the whole thing up. You expect me to make the... Sa okay. Start, uh, start stuffing your face. Thank her for the meal. I'm not gonna thank her for anything. I never thank anybody for meals, boys. I just eat. That's it. Anybody have time to thanking anybody? You're hungry, you eat. That's it. Not even a simple thank you? Thanks for cooking. <laughs> You're such a little boy sometimes.
So what's up, I guess? Come to think of it, today's the, the day of the raid. This breakfast might be the last meal. Nah, it's not gonna be. Stop lying. Snap out of it. Alright, so yeah, what is he scared of? Yo, he's so, he looks so young, boys. Alright, so uh, what should I say to you? You look pretty. Let's eat together again tomorrow. About the raid. Yeah, you look... Saying that doesn't sound like a Kaido thing. I mean, it would be a nice thing to say, but, uh... You know what? About the raid. Mm -hmm. That's more like Kaido than anything you else, to be honest. We'll stick to character here. Huh? Listen. The boss is like a father. What's with that music behind in so the background, though? It, Shit's ridiculous. You know. Meal time is a peaceful time. No drama at the table. We established that when we first moved in together. Right. I guess I forgot. Sorry. No drama for meal time? What type of bullshit is that, lady? Why did I move you to, uh, in with you again? Alright, let's eat together again, I guess, tomorrow. Why not? I'm not gonna say it. You're not gonna force me to say this, boys. Not gonna force me. Say, Mikiko. What? Would you make me breakfast tomorrow, too? I suppose I could. Ah, shit, really? You're really gonna force me to say she's pretty? Alright, oh. whatever, man. Do the romance thing. The boring nice. ass romance, boys. Okay. You know, when they're Are forcing me to do the romance oh, thing. Uh, nothing. Okay, so you were just sleep talking. Hey. I'm wide awake you. Then tell me, did you wake up for me or the food? Ah, good question. I think I woke up for the food, Maybe to be honest. Alright, that's all. Let's just do uh, say that's all. We're definitely in a dream sequence right here. Something's off choose. here. Sure. Something That'd doesn't feel right, boys. Um, it doesn't feel like a, a past thing, a past we'll memory. It could today. be. It feels like it's just a memory, like a distant memory or something. It feels like it's an actual Actually, dream sequence that we're having. You sure? Mikiko, listen. The last thing I want to do is screw up what the two of us got going. That's a lie, you know, not, and you know what? You definitely want to screw it over. And, you know, I've been thinking about things. I decided I'm going to talk to Matsugane-san. I know he'll hear me out. What? See, when I swore that oath to him, I figured I'd signed my life over, too. That's why I can't forgive those pricks who went after him. But the last thing I want to do is break your heart. Wait, Masahara-san? What are you saying? I'm saying... I'm out of the raid. That's final. Now, going clean's gonna be another story, but I'll take care of it somehow. As long as I can keep waking up to you, it's worth it, Mikiko. Am I interrupting something? Uh, huh? June, I thought I yeah, now that's today. definitely off. Well, that's well, definitely, yeah, definitely something we were going on no here. Sleeping in. in fact, he's asleep right now. I knew it. I How knew we were sleeping. We were anyway. literally dreaming. Gotta wake up to reality sometime. Huh? Kaito? Kaito! Hello? Anybody home? <sighs> We're here. Uh, oh. oh, there it is. Gotcha. I knew this was all a dream sequence, boys. There was anyway? no way this was You're going on right now. Kid almost. It all felt oh, weird the way the, the cutscenes oh. were skipping and everything. Don't remember. It felt very strange. A real nice dream. Uh, if you say so. Hey, am 
My mom's still out there, right? Well, she sure wouldn't have done herself in. You and I both know that. Right. There's no way she'd disappear without a good reason. I mean, who said she disappeared? She probably just simply died, but doesn't mean she killed herself. Could have been a murder. Could have been anything, really. Now, she Here's could be alive. Clip. She could be dead. Who cares? The important thing this. is to find her. That's the main important thing, well, really. Why, why, once we find her, though, what's going to happen? Uh, that I don't know. Is it like going to be a princess story where everybody, like a Disney story where everybody's happy at the end? I don't know, boys. We'll find Sorry out. To bother, but, uh, I'm a detective out from Kamurocho. The name is Kaito. Uh, what would a detective want with me? We're looking well, for the same person, I gather. Search took me. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Does it have to be me, specifically? W what is this about? I'm looking for a lady by the name of Mikiko Sadamoto. <sighs> She's my mom, by the way. I thought she was dead, but it turns out she might just be missing. You're her son? Um, give me a moment. All right, so this is the guy looking for her as well. Thanks. I came on behalf of the Yagami Detective Agency. Very well. I am Yasutaka Shirakawa, a director of the clinic here. All right, so this looks like a nice clinic, but what type of clinic is it? I don't know, boys. So, you're really Mikiko's son? Yeah, my name's June. I take it you're familiar with Mikiko then. Uh, well, that depends on what you mean by familiar. Uh, here, why don't we all have a seat? I apologize for not inviting you in. You see, I've been living alone so long. My place is an absolute mess. Don't sweat. After all, we did show up out of the blue. Now, let's talk about you and Mikiko. As I understand it, you were looking for her as well. This was a year and a half ago in Kamurocho. Yes, there is no denying that. Can I ask what for? Yeah, why exactly were you I looking for her? I was trying to confirm her identity. Her identity? Care to explain that? Deep within these mountains lies a waterfall, an infamous suicide spot. Perhaps I should start from there. A year and a half ago, a woman's body was discovered downstream. All right. Due to exposure to the elements, her face was too decomposed to identify. However, a photo was found in her jacket. The same one as it ours, to huh? be taken at the Millennium Tower in Shinjuku. It was of the woman and her son. No way. Me? But since that was her only possession, it wasn't enough to confirm her identity outright. As such, the police opened the case and began investigating. Unfortunately, progress was... Uh, slow if not stifled so thinking i could help move things along i set out for kamurocho picture in hand whatever you heard about me was likely from back then that would mean you're the one who analyzed mikiko's body yes uh, that her was possible me. body we don't know for her sure husband it's not her face right Not at a 99% match. I hate to say it, but that body was... Okay, so it was her body. Us. I do trust you on that one. <laughs> DNA says it's her body, it's her body. So that means it was her. What the hell is he even talking about right now? I'm sorry, my dude, but your Hello? your mother is... She's gone, she's dead. <laughs> Don't just ignore me, say something! Didn't you hear? It's time to go home, kid. This was all for nothing. Mikiko. 
Your mom is gone for good. Yeah, she's gone, my dude. What? No. She's dead, dead. Let me ask you this, Shirakawa-san. Are you sure her death was suicide? We just need to make sure if signs of she was definitely uh, did a suicide or not. And the police had confirmed it wasn't murder, so I'm afraid there's no other explanation. How did they confirm it wasn't murder, though? <laughs> Care to explain about that one? Why'd you do it? <laughs> this all seems so sudden all of a sudden, I boys. I don't know. Better news to give you, especially since you traveled all this way. Uh, the least I can do is call a cab and save you a walk to the station. I do feel like she's really dead. That was really her body. Wait. But what I'm really fi I'm trying to tower. process here is is she I was that a really suicide i doubt One last it question shirakaba -san. yes about that photo they found on mikiko's body was that the only one just her and june at the millennium tower nothing more well, it was there was no I other possession that should have been it yes I'll be damned. What? Okay, now we got a problem, Shirakawa-san. Your story doesn't add up. I'm sorry? There's something oh, missing no. here. If all Mikiko had on her was a photo at the Millennium Tower, and you never knew her alive, then what you told me was grade-A bullshit. Photo of Mikiko. Well, I do have the photo myself. According to the matron, a woman who looked very similar to Mikiko was sitting in the window. That doesn't indeed mean shit. How about uh, voice record? This thing called Senda trying to restore it. No, how about this? I guess the photo. Take Could be it. You tongue tied yet? Uh, pardon, but uh, what is this supposed to prove? Oh, guess not much. Okay, so it's not that. So how about the fact uh, that uh, he? Why did he see? Why? Why did he? Did he go talk to her uh, to the go cleaning lady then? Maybe you'll recall a certain cleaning lady. Seems you approached her a year and a half ago about Mikiko. You knew the place meant something to her, right? Uh, problem is. How would you even know that? Yeah, how would place? that's true though. How does he Everything know where she would be at all, all times unless he was with the police? Tower. In fact, that was your only clue to her identity. Didn't you say as much? Uh, uh... I'll tell you right now. Mikiko did have a connection with Kamaro Theater. But that's nothing a stranger, much less some random doctor would know. Unless, of course, you found that out from Mikiko herself. Hmm, probably. Uh, well, I, uh, Very strange. I'm sure she would have told you. And tell me the truth! Uh, I, I, I understand. Uh, I'll talk. What's going on here? I think we should all go inside. That alone might help clear things up. Huh? All right, well, we're going to end it right here, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.